We're recording. Some folks are hoarding. We've been ordered. Stay at home. I'm the daddy. And I'm the bad boy. And we hope to bring you joy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Daddy and the Big Boy. I'm Ben McCain, the daddy. And I'm Sergeant King, the big boy. Ooh, we had an earthquake this morning. 4.2. Ooh, shook us out of bed, startled me and mommy, but uh, you woke up a little bit, but you just went back to sleep, didn't you? It's like everything's cool. You were a cool, cool cucumber this morning. And then we had another one about 7.30, about 3.3. It was shaky too, startled us, but I think you slept through that one too. I didn't see you till later in the morning after you got up. So how you doing? We're in earthquake country. You know that. It didn't seem to bother you because I think you know who's in control, right? <laughs> Dr. Demento. You ever heard of Dr. Demento? No. Well, I'm going to tell you about Dr. Demento. John Wayne. John Wayne. John Mann. I feel like he's like John Wayne. John Mann. The cameraman that I worked with years ago well, it was about 10 years ago, we went to Lakewood, California and interviewed Dr. Demento. I'm gonna show you a little bit of this interview. Dr. Demento discovered Weird Al Yankovic. And this is a little story. He's gonna do a little, little song that he co-wrote. Dr. Demento. I had started playing homemade tapes on my show. And uh, young Alfred Yankovic, 16 years old, living in Linwood, California, heard me play a tape by somebody else about his age, and he thought, well, I could do that. So he sent in this tape of this song that he had written called Belvedere Cruising, and he kept on sending more tapes. They kept getting better and better, and eventually the world beat a path to his door. Another one rides the bus. Grandma got run over by a reindeer and shaving cream are just a few of the songs Dr. Demento played on the radio and made famous. I have a sad story to tell you. It may hurt your feelings a bit. Last night when I went into my bathroom, I stepped in a big pile of shaving cream. Be nice and clean. Shave every day and you'll always look keen. Our cars make a lot of pollution. That's something we all must admit. But imagine if we all still rode horses. Our streets would be knee-deep in shaving cream. Be nice and clean. Shave every day and you'll always look keen. That's the verse that I wrote to that song. <laughs> Isn't he funny? Yeah. That's Dr. Demento. A little song called Shaving Cream. And I heard the, a song called Killer Tumble. No, no. That was the legend of Guandi. Oh. That was yeah. the legend of Guandi. In fact, I think when we did that story, there was an issue with the rights on some of the songs, and we just decided we wanted to have a musical bed, so we put in the legend of Guandi since yeah. we own that song. And it's not a song about Killer Tumbleweeds. No, no, that's not a song about yeah. Killer Tumbleweeds. I meant Guandi. Guandi, Guandi. the legend of Guandi yeah. from the movie My Name is Bruce. But isn't that Do Dr. Demento? He's still kicking. He was recently... Well, not recently, a few years ago, inducted into the Comedy Music Hall of Fame and also the Radio Hall of Fame. So uh, this guy's got it going on, and he's still kicking. He just keeps on keeping on. Dr. Demento, isn't that cool? Yep. And that's what we're doing. Even through the pandemic, I work today, and here we are. We're going to close out with our prayerful song. You ready? Yep. And mommy says, speed it up. That's what she says. Or Jesus, please protect us from the coronavirus. Oh Lord Jesus, please protect us from those who want to harm us. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, please protect us 